Hey, what's up guys? Chord Masters here. And in today's video, we are going to do a first impressions and exploration of the new update on the OB4. And before I begin, I just want to say that, um, that there are certain things that come out, whether it's a physical piece of hardware or an update to something that I'm already using, that um, is just game changing for me. And I, I want to be very intentional with how I use that word and when I use that word. Um, and just kind of let you know, like I love this speaker so much. And one of the things that I really wanted it to be able to have is, or one of the things that I really wanted it to have is the ability to capture the stuff that you're creating on here. There's been so many times where I've found a loop and I just really love it and it sounds so good and I'm so excited about it. And all I can really do is just kind of take my phone and just record it. Um, <clears throat> and the quality is not as good and all that stuff. But now one of the biggest piece of information to come out for the OB4 is the fact that it now has the ability to save loops. And I just explored it a little bit and I said I needed to make a video because I don't see too much information uh, online about it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. So first you have to update your speaker in the Ortho Play app, which is this app here. If you have the speaker, chances are you know about this app. Looks like this was also updated. I haven't really um, dove deep into it yet. But it looks like you know, there's, a, there's a plus button here so you can connect multiple you know, speakers here, which is cool, um, and some other things. But I'm not going to really go too much into that. I want to kind of show you guys how to save loops to start with. So I'm going to play a song, and I'm going to loop it. This is actually one of the songs from my upcoming album called Kayla Joy Album. It is an album about being a father and dedicated to my now seven-month-old daughter. It'll be out soon. And here's a track list. <laughs> A tentative track list, but it's it's almost done. All right, so here we go. All right, so. I have that loop, which is the main premise of this song, and it's looping. And if I want to save it, all you need to do is press and hold input and play as if you're creating a loop until the word save shows up. Let go. And it is going to have a little animation on the screen that's going to run from the beginning to the end to let you know that it's been saved. Once this is done, it's been saved in order to get to it, right? So now this is good. I'm gonna hit, play, hit uh, pause here, hit play, and go to radio, go somewhere else. Now, you have to go to disc mode in order to get to um, the songs uh, that you, or the loops that you have saved. Press and hold play. Now you're in ambient mode, as you probably know. Press and hold play. Now you're in karma mode. Metronome, white noise. I'm gonna talk about this in a second. Um, this is, I just talked about my daughter and we use white noise all the time in the house. Uh, so I've been, I, I've had this speaker in my out of the house studio, which is where I'm at recording this right now. And um, I'm not gonna be leaving this here really anymore. I'm gonna have it, leave it home, bring it home with me. Cause, cause I think that this, having this feature is gonna be quite, beneficial uh, for my unique circumstance um, and then bring it back and forth as I want to record content here and stuff but you have three different I'll, I'll talk about this mode in a second but what I want to show you is the loop so there we go this is incredible now I, I'm kind of curious of this is actually very important actually with the loop um, you have the loop here but can we still do things to it can we pitch shift I just spit can we pitch shift? Can we do things? All right, so we can still, still. Okay, let's see. So, 
so I'm trying to figure out right now in real time, how do I get to the other functionality of this? Like, like half pitch shift and slide. I just did it by accident. I don't know exactly what I did. So let's try again. Let's see. So you can just press and hold input here to get half the bar. And it's going to go again to the beginning. So my, my thing is once this is playing and we do half, for example, we should still be able to slide by pressing and holding play like we normally would if this is currently playing, but I don't see that happening. Right, because let, let's let's regroup for a second. If I'm playing this song, let's go to a different song. Uh, where's Bluetooth? Am I not connected? No, oh, I am connected. But why isn't it playing? Okay, there we go. Just took a second. Is it? Did it disconnect somehow? Hang on. Hang on. Kingdom, that would make you British, wouldn't it? Oh. No, not necessarily. So, okay. British, okay? Oh, this is connected no, 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 to my phone. No okay, wonder. So do you consider John okay. Hang on. <laughs> I'm listening to ESPN German radio German right now. I'm like, what is German, going on here? German. All right. That's good. Let's. Oh, that's the other thing I want to actually check out on here is the. Um, you can have two things connected and play them back and forth, supposedly. So I want to check that out too. But why isn't this playing? Let me disconnect and connect again. So let me explain what I'm kind of trying to figure out right now. Usually when you're in Bluetooth mode or line in or radio, you can loop, you can cut the loop in half and then you can slide. Now it's appearing to me that when you have the loop already, you can't slide because you shouldn't be able to slide because it's just a loop. But what happens if you cut the loop in half? you still want to be able to do those things, I would I would think. So the application is, for me, I'm thinking about like, what if I had like just some of my favorite songs that are there just to be able to listen to as a loop, but I'm not going to really perform them the same way that I would if I'm, is this making sense? Like I'm not going to perform them the same way that I would if, if I was connected and playing live like I normally do because I don't have the full repertoire of the song and the full capabilities of the speaker. If you have the speaker, hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you understand kind of what I'm trying to explain. But anyway, let's go ahead and get another loop in here. Um, let's put this one in. Um, again, why isn't this connecting though? Maybe, actually let's put a radio loop in. Let's see if we can, how the radio is here. So that's the that's the thing here. So it's good for what it is, but I would prefer personally to be able to still manipulate the song, change the pitch of the song and things like that. But as I'm thinking about it, 
yeah, I would like to be able to do that. Of course, you should be able to because it's just the loop. So I would be able, I would like to take that loop and do everything that I'm normally doing when I'm just playing it. But the loop save function is probably more akin to just being able to have like jams or have just certain. I'm trying to articulate this properly. I'm trying to think of like the application that I would use this because I would not ever really use that because I want to manipulate the music the way that I like like this. I want to Hi friend. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Like again, I'm trying to figure out why my why this is not connecting. Like what's happening here? All right, so let's connect again. Disconnected from oh no, let's disconnect from Bluetooth. All right, we should be good now. So I, I would grab the loop. This is my normal workflow, right? Grab the loop. Actually, I might slow it down a little bit like this. Anyway, dope. All right, so let's go to noise. Let's go to noise on here. Yeah, there we go. So it has noise machine built into it now, which as I mentioned earlier, I have a seven month old and we use noise a noise machine or different ones in the house all the time. Um, so you have white noise, Pink noise, pink noise, brown noise. That's cool. That's cool. And then also, I think we should be able to have two devices connected. So I want to try that out right now. I haven't tried this yet. Um, it says like something like party mode. So let's just connect the second device and see what happens. Hmm, so it's not connected. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. So let's connect, reconnect to Bluetooth. Uh, okay. Okay, I need to be on Bluetooth clearly. All right, there we go. And then. This should connect as well, I would think, because it says party mode. There we go. No, so it, it disconnects the other one when I try to connect. So I'm not sure about this party mode thing. Maybe someone in the comments can let me know um, if they were able to connect two different devices. Um, because when I connect one, it disconnects the other. It's a pairing. Let's see if that's actually happening. Yeah. So yeah, let me know. And then the other thing I'm kind of curious about is how many, how much storage is here, right? Like how much storage do we have? I have no idea. Um, but I was thinking that when you go here and, uh, that you should be able to press and hold these two together just like you when you were saving it to like delete it i might actually do that again let me let me see let's see, like let it hold for like even longer maybe i'm not sure Okay, so there's another little trick is like, 
which order do you want to go in? To, so you hit play. To go through the songs that way. But if you hold input and hit play, it goes backwards. So that's cool to know. But yeah, I'm trying to see how, how would you delete this? I don't know. I'm not sure how you would delete it. So that's something, if you guys know how to delete, you can let me know in the comments below. And last but not least, I wanted to see if there was anything else that I needed to check on here. I think I, I think I did a screenshot on here, actually, let me see. So simple party Bluetooth mode, noise disc mode, support storing loops, enable FM stereo. Yeah, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate everyone out there. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see y'all later. Peace.